Hi guys, I'm back for another video and today I'm going to film my favorites of 2013 and I have like a little pile of stuff here in front of me but um, yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm going to do face first and then mascara, eyeshadows, all of that stuff. So, my favorite um, foundations for 2013 were the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, um, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and my Makeup Forever HD foundation, which I have no idea where it is, but that was a favorite of mine. Um, moving on to blushes. You guys know I'm obsessed with my Tarte blush. This one is in Tipsy, and it's from the Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Collection. And also a cheap alternative um, to blushes in general are the e.l.f. blushes and this one is in Candid Coral and this one's very similar to Orgasm by NARS which I also like a lot. Moving on to bronzer. My favorite bronzer is NARS Laguna bronzer. Looks like that. Uh, very popular. Everybody knows about it. Um, honestly, I'm not very experienced in bronzers. Like I don't own a lot of different bronzers. This one I just purchased because I heard a lot of good things about it and I like this one. Um, but obviously there are other ones out there that are good. Um, moving on to Illuminizer. I'm obsessed with this one by Elizabeth Arden and it's called Shimmer Powder. And I don't know, I think this is like the only one they have so it doesn't really have a color name or anything like that. But it has a quote over here and yeah, I really like this one. It's very shimmery and it has like a very nice finish. Kind, it's like a natural finish and it's like a very subtle glow. I don't know if you guys can even see, but... Moving on to lips. You guys know Cream Cup by MAC is my favorite nude lipstick. So obviously I have to include that. Um, I just think it's the perfect nude and I'm obsessed with it. Next, for a darker shade, uh, I really like this one by NYX. It's called Violet Ray and I wore it in a few videos. It's kind of like this dark plummy shade, and it's just gorgeous. I'm in love with it. It kind of looks like that. It's kind of like a purpley brownish shade with cranberry mixed. I don't know. It's just a beautiful color. So moving on, um, you guys know that my favorite uh, red lipstick is this one by Chanel, and it's in number 40, and it's just like a burgundy red perfect matte shade. I'm obsessed with it and I love it. Although it is very pricey, I am obsessed with it. Okay, so that's basically it for face products and now we're gonna move on to eye products, I guess. And kind of like eyeshadow and all that stuff. So my favorite mascaras are the Benefit They're Real and the Volume Million Lashes, which this one I discovered this year, uh, well, last year, and then this one I've been using for like the last two, three years, so those two have become my favorite, and I use them all the time, and I just love the way my lashes look with that. Um, my favorite eye primer, you guys know, is Too Faced, so I use that all the time. I put it on before I do my makeup. I put a little bit on my eyelids and then I blend it out and I put shadow on top so that my lids don't crease throughout the day. Moving on to eyeliner. Uh, you guys have heard me rave about this for the last few months and this is the Love and Beauty eyeliner from Forever 21 which is ridiculously cheap. I paid like I think like two dollars for it and I've been loving it all of 2013 and kind of like when December rolled around I kind of noticed that it began to dry out and I still use it but the consistency is just not as great as it was when I first purchased it so that's a downside but you can still use it it's just a little more difficult to blend it out because it is um, becoming very like hard and kind of drying up now this palette by Marc Jacobs, the 204 Starlet Power, Power Palette, has become one of my favorites. Um, I think all these colors are very unique, and um, I have a review on this. If you guys want to see it, I'll put
put it somewhere up here. Oh so, yeah, um, I've been loving this and can't wait to do more looks with it. Of course, I had to include my Naked palette because I use it practically every day. And honestly, I think this is like a must-have for anyone that does makeup. It has the most perfect colors in it. I really want to purchase the Naked 3 palette, but I just, these shades are perfect for me. And literally, I've been using them all the time, and I haven't hit pan on any of them. And I bought this palette November of... I believe it was 2011, I think. So I purchased this a really long time ago and I love it. And finally, I'm gonna include my Sephora palette, which looks like the little Sephora bag. And I just love this palette. The eyeshadows here are very diverse. There's a lot of variety. You get a lot of different shades, which I really like. Um, I typically gravitate towards the darker shades on my eyelids and then um, on my lower lash line I like to put a pop of color so I'll use like this blue one or like a green one or something like that and I just love the way it looks. So this palette I really like. It also comes with lip glosses on this side and blushes on this side. So it's an overall pretty uh, good palette and it's good for on the go. I take it all the time when I travel and I just love it. It's small, it's compact, it's okay, nice. Now I'm going to be talking about brushes and kind of like my favorite stuff for that I guess for the year. So uh, obviously my Beauty Blender must have. I'm obsessed with it. I That's the only way I put foundation on. I wet it and then I kind of dab the foundation all over my face. Also my other Beauty Blender um, that I use for concealer. I'm obsessed with it as well. So yeah. this one, as you guys can see, is a little different shaped. You can get more into those areas. So I really like this. Um, okay, so this brush, this rounded crease brush by Sephora has been my favorite for like two years now. And it looks like that. It's just a fluffy brush. It's perfect for blending. Um, I use it all the time just to blend out that crease color or to make the look a little more softer. And I just love this brush. I actually have two of them. So yeah. Uh, moving on to the brush that comes in the Urban Decay Naked Palette. This brush is amazing. I can't get enough of it. I use it every single day when I do my lid color. This is the brush I use all the time. I'm obsessed with it. It's a flat shader brush. It's perfect for putting on color onto your eyelid, for packing it on. You could do it densely, you could do it lightly. And I just, I'm obsessed with this brush. So finally, I want to talk about the two um, eyeliner brushes I use. So this one is kind of my go-to brush. And I've kind of learned to just use this one over time without using this angled one. But for the year of 2013, I found myself using both of them very frequently. So I would use this one to kind of do like the outer, like this part right here. And then when it came to the outer corner, I would kind of flick it using the other brush. So this one I purchased at iMats and it doesn't have anything on it. So I don't know what brand it is, but I do remember that it was relatively cheap, maybe like three, four dollars. So that's not expensive at all. And this one is a Sigma brush. Uh, this one came in a, like I ordered Sigma brushes and then this was like the little mini brush they gave as a gift. So this is the EO5 Eyeliner Brush by Sigma, and I really recommend this brush. This brush is amazing. It's perfect for eyeliner. I can't use one of those angled brushes for eyeliner. I just can't do it. It doesn't work for me, and that type of brush really does. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These were my favorites of 2013, and I would love to know what your guys' favorites were. So let me know down below and I know I kind of like rushed through the video. I just wanted to get everything in pretty quickly so it's not a super long video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.